Right. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. We are starting with our lesson for uh, mathematics grade nine, and I hope that we are all ready to come and, and be part of this lesson. Uh, please feel free at any time to ask a question if you have, and of course, uh, at any time, uh, let's uh, engage. Uh, yesterday, we had a lesson, which was a, a grade nine mathematics lesson based on the equations or algebraic equations rather. So today's lesson is a continuation of uh, the algebraic uh, expressions together with uh, the equations. We will uh, look at the values of expressions when when you are given uh, the x value, but we can also look at other examples of equations. Now, yesterday I said that uh, you can solve an equation by inspection. Uh, in other words, you can use the additive or multiplicative uh, inverse as well, just by inspection. You can be able to do that. But if you can't use inspection, then you can literally uh, transpose the numbers to the right hand side of the equation. And uh, today we have an equation in our midst here. As you can see, y plus 3y is equal to 5y minus 8. And of course, what we what is key here is that we just have to solve for for x and there is no better way of solving for x than to look at the the numbers that are the same or the common uh, yes the common uh, terms uh, also known as the like terms so you can group the like terms together to be able to find uh, x and then you can also do the same in the right hand side so that at the end of the day the left hand side should be equal to the right hand side so today we are going to do exactly that and thank you very much indeed uh, i see that uh, <coughs> uh, nosipo uh, is here as well no nosipo pungula i'm following the chats Today, the group chats will be very active. So if you cannot raise your hand, uh, you are welcome to also uh, type a message. Let's now carry on. So if you can check this particular activity, you will be able to see that uh, we have transposed the 5y from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So as I said yesterday, the so-called additive inverse. When you transpose uh, the 5y from the left-hand side to the, or from the right-hand side rather, to the left-hand side, it will definitely change the sign. So once you move from the other side of the equal sign, once you take any term there and bring it to the other side, it may be from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, or from the right hand side to the left hand side. The most common thing there is that the sign of your term is to change. So as you can see in this case, we have now moved the other one, uh, the 5y, we've moved it to the left hand side and then it has changed its sign and the sign now is uh, negative. So you can see that 4y minus uh, 5y, then this gives us negative y, and this is equal to negative 8, which has always been on the right-hand side. So definitely, all that you need to do now is just to find y, and the best way to do this is to just multiply both sides by negative 1, and negative 1 multiplied by negative y, will be positive uh, y. So therefore y will be equal to, to eight. And this of course means 
we have now calculated the value of uh, y. And this can be correctly defined as a, an equation, meaning that we have now been able to solve our equation. And of course, the next step will be to look at the different equation or just to test, perhaps before you go to the next equation, just to test whether your answer is correct or not. All that you need to do is just to substitute uh, your value, the value of eight in, in this equation. And just by inspection, you can see that y is eight, so you have eight plus three times eight. And three times eight is uh, 24, and 24 plus eight is 32. So the left-hand side will be equal to 32. And what about the right-hand side? Again, you can also substitute the value of y there, which is eight. Eight times five is 40. And uh, 40 minus eight gives you 32. So now you can see that once you substitute your values uh, correctly, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. That is very important. That is the one way of checking whether the answer is correct. So if, if the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side, then this means something is wrong. It means that you need to check your your answer. Let's say, for instance, your answer was uh, one, for instance. So if your answer is one, then if you substitute one there, uh, of course, uh, it will be one plus uh, three, which is four. And this side, you have five minus eight, which is negative three. So the left-hand side will never balance with the, the right-hand side. So there's a question coming from uh, Unkabetz asking, what happened to the to the positive y? What happened to the positive y? Uh, Unkabetz, if you can just clarify. Uh, okay, I hope that you are so that because I see you just posted another message. Uh, thank you very much indeed. I'm glad that you 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 now follow. I, I, I was about to ask you to elaborate on your on the question, right? Uh, feel free at any time to stop me or raise a a, a point at any time uh, before we can carry on. Now today, all right, Tabile's hand is up. Let's go to Tabile before we carry on. Tabile, please go ahead. Let me see if I can quickly unmute you there. All right. Uh, you can just, uh, okay, great. Yes, you can just unmute yourself, Tabile. Hello, sir. Hi, Tabile. Sir, is there a value in front of the Y? Is there a value that is a one in front of the Y? Yes. Is there always a value in front of it? Which Y are you referring to? The Y plus three Y, sir. Oh, okay. The first lines. The first Y? Yes, sir. Your question is? Is there always a value one in front of the y? Exactly, yes. If, if you have y, then we know it's always the, the invisible one. Thank you very much. That's a good uh, 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 indication there. There's always okay. uh, uh, the invisible one. We just don't write it, but we know it is there all the time. So unless otherwise you are given a different coefficient, then the assumption, rather, is that we always have a one. So yes, I fully agree with you there. So yes. is the one only a value if the, the, the alphabet is only a Y and not an X or any alphabet? Well, for it, 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 it goes for any alphabet, for any variable. So if I understand you correctly, you are talking about this y here, the first one in the in the equation, the first y. Yes, that, that one, yes. there is one there, the invisible one. That is why uh, if you have to add the two, if you have to add that y and three y, the answer that you'll get is four y. 
the reason being this is a one y plus three y okay yes. sir yes thank you very much indeed and of course we have looked at our first example and i hope that it makes a sense to all of us now uh, the next step of course is to look at the the next equation again you can see that we have 8x minus 4 is equal to 2x plus 2 again what is important here is to transpose and and make use of the the approach that we've been using up to so far which is to use the additive inverse of any term that you have to transpose in this case there are two terms that have been transposed the first one is negative four you can see that uh, the left hand side we have 8x minus four and the right hand side has 2x plus two so the simple way of doing this uh, if you have to transpose uh, negative four from the right hand side from the left hand side to the right hand side then it means you can just uh, use uh, your principle of uh, additive inverse and the additive inverse of negative four is positive four and then in the same node we have two x on the right hand side the additive inverse of two x is negative two x so the hence you can see in the left hand side we now have negative two x and the right hand side we have plus four Onkabetsi, your hand was up can you please raise your question good morning sir morning sorry to disturb you but what if i transpose the eight x to the right hand side instead of the two x to the left hand side then it Great. becomes two Great. minus eight yes you can do that yes you you are free to do that you are welcome to transpose the 8x to the right hand side so uh, we you know there are many ways or there are different methods uh, in mathematics your method is also right you can group the the variables in the right hand side it's just that in mathematics i've noticed uh, throughout my studies at the school level as well as at university level, we have always had a tendency to put the variables on the left hand side. But yes, you are welcome to, to put it on the right hand side. If you if you can, there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you, sir. There's nothing wrong with that, yes. So as we carry on now, you can see that the same thing that we have here, uh, you know, uh, the expression as uh, Ungabetz was just saying, you are not uh, compelled to transpose or to keep the variables rather in the left hand side. You can keep them in the in the right hand side if you wish, uh, you know. But at the end of the day, you will be able to get the same answer. So nothing forces you to keep them in the left hand side, right? Uh, it's just a procedure. It's just a norm, uh, you know. That's just been used for for many years, like I said. Uh, perhaps because we are looking for the variable so therefore at the end of the day you have to say x is equal to as you can see the last point they will say x is equal to one instead of saying one is equal to x but you can actually say one is equal to x there's nothing wrong in the same way as x is equal to one so once you have done this you group them together now now the leg terms are together 8x minus 2x and then on the right hand side you have two plus four and of course eight minus two gives you six so you have six x in the left hand side and two plus four is also six so to get to one then it means by inspection you can just see that, that uh, if you multiply six by one you get six so that's the conclusion x is equal to one Alternatively, you can just divide both sides by six. This is what we call the multiplicative inverse. So the multiplicative inverse of six is uh, one over six. So you just sub 
divide by six to get the value of x there, and the value of x will be one. So x will be equal to one. So we carry on now with uh, towards the next one, uh, or the, rather the next uh, equation here, which I just want you to solve. I'm giving you this opportunity now to solve this uh, equation, 3x is equal to 45. This is the equation that we all have an opportunity now to, to solve. I hope you have a pen and a paper with you. Let's uh, solve this equation. 3x is equal to 45. And let's find x, or let us solve for x. Right, uh, I see that there are two hands. Uh, let me just quickly go and check the names. All right, we have Unkabetz and Nosipo. Uh, let's go to Nosipo now. Morning, sir. Morning, Nosipo. Um, so, so I solved the equation and this is how it came out. 3x is equal to 45, and then I just divided, I took the 3 and divided it with the 45, and it gave me a 15. So 3x um, divided by 3 on the right, on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, it's 45 divided by 3. Then the 3s cancel each other, and x is equal to 15. Exactly. So that will be a 15. So... Uh, 15 will be the correct answer. Uh, thank you. I see Amat has got it right as well. And uh, there's also, I don't see the name there, but only the, all right, uh, there's Amat and uh, just next to Gabezu, there's uh, someone said 15 there. That is the correct answer. So there are two ways in my view. Uh, you can do this by inspection. You can see that uh, three, x is equal to 45. And then if you multiply 3 by 15, you will definitely get 45. And so by inspection, you can see that uh, the value of x is 15. Alternatively, you can divide uh, both sides by, by 3 you divide the left hand side by three and together whatever you do in the left hand side should also be done in the right hand side. So if you divide three X by three, you also need to divide uh, 45 by three. And of course, this is how it goes. It will show you, uh, you will see that uh, the value of X will be equal to 15. So I fully agree with you there. So thank you, uh, Nosipo, for taking the time to, to answer this question. Now uh, we are going to start with uh, the equations below. I just want to give you an opportunity just to, to solve these uh, equations uh, and of course find uh, the value of x. So we are given three equations there. Uh, the first one is 2x plus 5 is equal to 23, followed by uh, 3x minus 5, which is, uh, which is uh, 16. And then the next one, of course, will be uh, 5x minus 60, which is uh, negative 5. So those are the the three equations. Uh, please use your pen and a paper just to calculate. Remember the principles of uh, additive inverse. And of course, uh, this can go a long way together with the multiplicative inverse just to find the values of x. So we have got three different examples. The first one, 2x plus 5 is equal to 23, I want us to solve it. I see that Nosipo is already demonstrating there with the equation 2x plus 5 is 23. Okay, Nosipo, I look, I'm looking at your calculations on the group chat. Uh, let's see. Okay. Right, uh, Nosipo, I, I fully agree with you there. 
I fully agree with you. Let's go now. I see Amathe. All right, Amathe has got a negative number there. I see you have a negative nine. Unkabetzi has just come in as well. She found nine. So Unkabetzi fully agrees with uh, Nosipo. And then Kwezi Mwabe as well. Right, uh, I see Kwezi also says nine. So there are three people now. Fourth one, uh, Yuliswa. Great. Uh, Amathe, can you just check? Uh, I'm, I'm worried about the sign. I see that uh, you have negative nine. Can you just explain the sign there? All right, Kamuhelo found uh, 14. Uh, come on, hello. Let's see. How did you find 14? Uh, come on, hello. Found 14, and we'll need to talk about that. Uh, that how did you get 14? Unless, of course, you are talking about a different uh, problem altogether, right? Uh, I see that mo some of you know, is already doing the second one. Then we'll mark it's fine. Let's carry on. Uh, Charlton, I uh, see your work there, uh, but I don't see your answer. I just see the, the equation. And Tando as well found nine in the first one. Yes, Tando, I agree with you fully. Uh, Charlton has got seven. Uh, I want you to explain how did you get seven. Right, without any waste of time, I think we need to zoom directly into the first one there, two X plus. Uh, Five. So obviously, we can tell here that uh, the main step, or the first step rather, is to use the the additive inverse. So if you take five from the uh, left hand side to the right hand side, uh, that will that will mean uh, you will be left with uh, two x in the left hand side. So 23 minus 5 gives you uh, 18. I agree with you there. And then if you divide 18 by 2, you get 9. So most of you found a 9 in the first category there. 9 is the correct answer. So I see that some of you are already, no simple, is already doing the last one. The last one, great, uh, no simple. I'm following your work as well, together with the rest of the class. I can see that you are Charlton found at 13. Let's now mark uh, the second one. So 3x minus 5. If you just have to transpose the 5. By the way, I will come to this uh, in full detail. But for now, just by inspection, if you have to transpose the negative 5 from the left hand side to the right hand side, it will also change the sign. So it will not be negative anymore. It will now be positive. So you'll have 16 plus five. And 16 plus five uh, is 21. And then of course, you can divide uh, 21 by three to get seven. Now I understand Kamohelo also found seven. Tando, that's the correct answer as well. Yuri, so I thank you very much indeed. That's the correct answer. Uh, Tando, I'm sure you are, the 11 is the last one probably, I'm not so sure. Tando, Charlton found 11, Ungabet also found uh, 11. Uh, we will just have to see. I I'm, I'm, I'm hope you are talking about the last one. Mm -hmm. I fully agree with you. Right, uh, the last one, of course, uh, even by inspection, you can see that if you put 11 there, you'll have uh, 11 times five, which is uh, 55. And 55 minus 60 is a negative five, yes. 11 is the correct answer. Alternatively, how do you find uh, the right answer? You can just transpose uh, negative 60 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. And it will change now the sign. And the sign will now be a negative, uh, it will be positive 60. So 60 minus five is 55. And then of course, you will have to divide by five to get 11. So the most of you have found the answers to be correct. Just to demonstrate as we have uh, indicated, 
that in the first category there, you can see that what I've done here was just to transpose the, 20, the, the five from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So 23 minus five gives you 18. And then two X will be equal to 18 just by inspection. If you multiply two by nine, you get uh, 18. That is why X is nine. That this is by inspection. If you don't want to use that method, you can divide both sides by two. So if you divide uh, two X by two, you will get X. And then if you divide 18 by two, you will get uh, nine. So that's how we found uh, the first answer there in the, in the in the, in the exercise or the activity ladder, and then followed by the next one here. Uh, you can see this is how we have uh, solved it. 3x minus 5 is equal to 16. And of course, you just transpose the negative 5 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side then you add the two, 16 plus five is 21, as you can see, and then you divide by three. So 21 divided by three is seven. And most of you got this one right, uh, almost all of you. Then we did the last one as well, which is five X minus 60. Again, you, you can do this either by inspection or by uh, using the additive inverse. In my case, I've used the additive inverse by transposing the negative 60 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. And then it will change the sign, which is now 60. And then 60 minus five is 55. So 55 divided by five is 11. So the value of X will be 11. Now, the last one, of course, uh, in fact, that was, this the last one. Uh, let's see, yes, that was the last one, because the first one, we had about three, this was the first, second, and uh, last. So the last one, 55 divided by five is 11. So we're carrying on now with uh, just uh, an activity there. You can see this is the activity seven X plus three, which is equal to x plus uh, 21. So once more, all that you need to do is just to transpose the uh, different uh, numbers there or the different terms, the like terms together can be grouped. So you take the x from the right hand side to the left hand side. So you have seven x minus uh, x and then 21 minus three. So this becomes six X over, over six, and then 18 divided by six is three. I hope that it makes sense. This is what we mean when we say uh, solve for X in this uh, equation. So basically that's what we mean. And then at the end of the day, if you want to test whether your answer is correct, you can put it back in the equation. Seven times three will be uh, 21 and 21 plus 3 is 24. And in this case, 7 plus, uh, let's let's see, 7 times 3. Yes, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 3 will give you 24. And then, of course, in this case, you'll have 3 plus 21. And 3 plus 21 is 24. So the left-hand side is definitely equal to the right-hand side. Right, uh, let's go now. I see there are some hands. Uh, Mosipo. Send this up as well as on Kabitz. All right. Sorry, uh, sir. I forgot to switch. Uh, I forgot to put my hand down. Oh, I see. Sir. No yes. So this is on Kabitz. Sir, so I got the same answer, but just a different method. Well, the same method, but different numbers. Instead, um, I got three x is, is equals to twenty one. Okay, is this the the problem that we are solving the, now? Yes, sir. Okay, can you go ahead, please? Just share your method with us. 
So I transpose the 5 to the right hand side and say 3x is equal to 5 plus 16, which is 3x is equal to 21. And then I divide it using the coefficient 3 both sides, which gave me a 7. So I, which gave me a 7. Also, your value of x is 7. Yes. Uh, are you talking about this uh, problem that is in front of us now, or are you referring to the one that we had before? Is this the one that you are talking about? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I fully agree with you on this one, yes. This is the answer. So this is the correct answer. You have seven, that is correct. So if you want, you can just test it again. That is very important just to to be on the safe side to know that uh, you know you have done the right thing you can just uh, test your answer and how do you test it can you test it for us uh, no simple no simple yes sir please test whether this uh, answer is correct or not this one on the screen yes um okay so three x minus 5 is equal to 16. Yes, it's correct. Okay, how did you test it? Um, I said um, 3 times 7, it gave me a 21. Then 7 minus 5, it's a 16. Can you repeat the last part? Or can three. you rephrase it? Um, sorry, okay. So, so I said um, 3 times the 7, ne? Yes. And then it gave me a 21. Then okay. 7 minus 5, it's 16. No, not 7. Not 7 minus 5. You said you have 21. You said uh, 3 times 7 is 21. So you yeah. take the same 21 and you say 21 minus 6. 21 minus 5. Minus 5, yes. So 21 minus 5 will give you 16. 16. Great. Yes. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you very much indeed. Right, uh, we were in the last one here, and this is what we we got when we solved for x. And we have tested whether this is the correct answer or not. So what is important, always make sure, especially if you have time, uh, you know, just learn to test your, you know, the values of your x or, or your variables. Just put them back in the equation. And if the equation can balance, then it means you are doing the right thing or you have done the right thing. All right. The next one as well, uh, this is what I've done. 11x minus seven is equal to six X plus three. As always, you can see right, right now, I, instead of me explaining this, I just want Elena who can just explain what have I done here? Just explain to the rest of the class. What have what has happened in this equation? Yes, please. Okay, go so um, classmates, what happened here is um, Sir took the you Sir grouped the like terms together, which is the eleven and the six and the six, and the three and the other seven. So the equation is eleven x minus six x is equal to three plus seven and the operation changed because the, the seven jumped the equal sign so that's how the operation changed and then okay when we calculated because they are alike terms 11 minus 6x gave us a 5x and then 3 plus the 7 gave us a 10 and then um 5 divided by, we now divide, 5 divided by 5, you cancel the 5s and you get the x. Then 5 divided by the 10 gave us a 2. Hope that was clear. Exactly. Exactly. So if you divide 5 by 5, you get x there in the left hand side. And can you test now whether the answer is correct by substituting in the equation? Yes. Is there okay. Anyone? Okay, you can go ahead, it's fine. Uh, correct, it is. Um, All right, how do you know it's correct?
do you mind explaining calculator how, how do you know oh okay, you're still sir. busy okay no sir i'm done okay can you explain why do you say it's correct um sir the simplest way i've um i check if my answer is correct is by uh putting the two in the with the 11 so this is what i did is 11 11 times the 2 minus 7 it gave me a 15 then i went to my right hand side and i said 6 times the 2 plus 3 and it also gave me a 15. so that's how i saw that the answer is correct okay sir right. yes why yes. where is the 5x coming from right where is the 5x coming from that's a good question that's a good question i see uh Unkabetsu wants to can you explain where does the five come from? Oh, Yoli, so it's fine. Yoli, so can go ahead. Okay, so morning, sir. Morning, Yoli, so. Okay. So the five comes from 11 minus six. Okay. Yes, sir. That's where the five comes from. Great. I, I hope that is clarified. It's, it comes from 11 minus uh, six. So the 11x, we have 11x on the left hand side, whereas the right hand side we had uh, a different uh, number altogether there. And of course, when you transpose uh, 6x from the right hand side to the left hand side, it changed the sign. Just as Yoliswa said, 11 minus 6 gives us 5. So that is where the 5 comes from. So 5x is equal to 10. And thereafter, you divide both sides by, by 5. And then, of course, x will be equal to, to 2. All right. So I hope that it makes uh, sense. I hope that it makes sense. Uh, I hear there's a noise in the background, but I've just managed to, to mute that. And so if you have any question, please uh, carry on again, uh, just to raise a hand. And of course, we can just look at the today's activities. Uh, today's activity, or class activity rather, consists of about five exercises. And all that we need to do there is just to solve for X and Y, not just X, it's to solve for X and Y. Sorry about uh, putting only X, because some of the equations have Y. So let's solve for X and Y in these equations. We have the first equation there, A, uh, it's 5Y minus 8 is equal to 20. The second one, 5Y plus 20 is equal to 35. And then 20x minus 7 is 93. 5 open bracket, x minus 7 is equal to 0. The last one, 11x plus 55 is equal to 77. So we need to solve for x, not just x, but x and y. I hope that we are busy trying to solve that. Just in the next 30 seconds, we will look at the first one, just to mark the work for today. So we have got about five of those. Just to wrap up our lesson, this is the last activity for the day. Let's take it with uh, the necessary energy. So if you are ready to answer the first one, please feel free at any time. Then we can take it from the Yoliswa. I see your hand is up. I'm just gonna allow you to carry on just to solve the first one. Please go ahead, Yoliswa. Okay, sir. So A is 5Y minus 8 equals to 20. So 5Y equal. I said 5Y, I took the 8, and I moved it to the right side, then it became a positive. Okay. So it took 20 plus eight. That is five Y equals to 20 plus eight. Then okay. um, I got 28. So 28 divided by five, you get 5.6. 
5.6, okay? Yes, sir. Yes. That's the answer I got at the end. All right, great. So 5y minus 8, and then you took 8 to the right-hand side. I fully agree with you because uh, if you take it to the right-hand side, it will be 28. And now if you divide 28 by 5, you get 5.6. That's correct. Thank yes, you very sir. much indeed, uh, Yuliswa. Uh, on sir. the group chat, I see uh, Chantel has already uh, done the first one and she also got a 5.6. Great. Great uh, work there, Chantel. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, can we proceed now? I hope that we are not fast. Can we proceed to the second one quickly? Uh, I see this, someone says uh, 11. Uh, I'm not sure. I, there's no name there. 11. And you can perhaps just explain how did you find 11. No Sipo send is also up. Uh, please go ahead, No Sipo. So, sir, this is what I did. Um, I said um, 5y plus 20 is equal to 35. And then I took the 20 to the right hand side. And the equation was um, 5y is equal to 35 minus 20. And okay. then, and then uh, 35 minus 20 gave me a 15. Took the 5, divided it with the 15, and it gave me y is equal to 3. Okay, exactly. Yes, 3 is the correct answer in this case uh, because uh, as uh, you have just said, Three is the correct answer because you just transpose uh, 20 from the uh, left hand side to the right hand side. And as not support indicated, 35 minus 20 gives you 15. And then thereafter, you divide uh, 15 by 5 to get uh, 3. So uh, 3 is the correct answer. All right. Right, uh, can we go to C? Uh, I see that we have several hands. Tando, I'm following your work on the group chat. I'm looking at your equation there. And I think that you are doing well so far. Tabile, can we proceed? Uh, um, number C. Okay, um. Yes, Tando, that is the correct answer. Yes, let's go to C. Yes, let's go. Twenty x minus seven is equals to ninety three. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I said twenty x, and then I said it's equals to ninety three plus seven, and then twenty x was equal to a hundred when I added ninety seven plus ninety three plus seven, and okay. then I divided both sides by twenty, and then x was equal to five. Exactly, x is equal to five. Great. I see yes, uh, Kamohelo. Who is speaking now? Is it Tabile? All right. Yes, Tabile, thank you so much. Uh, I see Kamohelo also got uh, five in the group chat. Amate as well. That's correct. Yes, uh, everybody got five there. Thank you very much. Did five is the correct answer because when you transpose or the additive inverse of negative seven will be positive seven. Yes and then you add that to 93 to get 100. Can we move now to D and to E before we close the lesson? Let's do a D and E before we, end, we wrap up the lesson. Sir, can I do D? Yes, please. Okay, so, um, so I was taught at school that we take whatever that's outside the bracket and multiply it with whatever that's inside. Okay, yes. That's and cool. then, I did exactly that. I said five uh, times X and it gave me five X minus five times seven and it gave me 35 is equal to zero. Okay. And then uh, I trans uh, took the 35 to the right hand side and the equation was five X is equal to zero plus 35. Five okay. X is equal to um, 35. And then I took the five and divided it with the 35 and it gave me a seven. So X is equal to seven. Exactly. exactly. And I also so, did the, the E, sir. Can I also do it? Yes, please, go ahead. 
Um, okay. So, okay. I took the f of t5 to the right hand side and it, the equation was 11x is equal to 77 minus 55. Um, 77 minus 55 is equal to 22. So the equation was 11x is equal to 22. I divided the I divided 22 with 11, and the final answer was x is equal to 2. X is equal to? X is equal to 2. Exactly. I fully agree with you. You have both of them correct. And of course, uh, 77 minus uh, 55 uh, is equal to... Uh, 22 and of course if you divide 22 by uh, 11 then you get uh, uh, 2 there so yes x is equal to 2 and the other one x is equal to 5 so thank you very much indeed this is the correct answer and of course I see that Kamal also got it right uh, in the group chat there that is correct so I'm not going to zoom directly into the solutions now, uh, now that we have done them. Uh, let's carry on to, if we have any questions or any further, I see there's a question on exams, we'll answer that as the week progresses. But if you have got any queries, uh, such questions can be raised, sent to also our email address, stemdigitalschool at africateamgeeks.co.za. As always, uh, this lesson was brought to you by the STEM Digital School uh, in partnership with the Sasol Foundation. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great day. Thank you.